The future of the monarchy is with Prince William and Princess Catherine, very capable, accomplished hands and would bring the monarchy into the future. There have been speculations and predictions about the future of monarchy since Charles, the oldest person to become king in British history, took the throne following his mother Queen Elizabeth II's death in September. Some commentators and historians and fortune teller claim that King Charles would be the last ruling monarch, while few suggest he would abdicate the throne in coming years. Meanwhile, fortune teller Jemima Packington, who predicted the Queen's death, says Charles will hand over the reign to Prince William soon. True, a high ranking royal aide Angela Kelly told the outlet months ago, this supposed insider says Elizabeth gathered everyone together for a summit at Sandringham to address her inevitable demise, and surprised the family with a series of edicts to be followed after her passing. The most unusual of these alleged commands that her son, then Prince Charles, agreed to abdicate on the occasion of his 80th birthday. The Queen knew what William and Catherine could bring to the throne. She also knew Charles would not be the majority of the people's choice. King Charles will hold on until William and Catherine's children are older before passing the throne on. That would only give the 73-year-old seven years on the throne, one-tenth of the history of his mother. The throne would naturally pass to his son, William, the eldest son of King Charles and the late Princess Diana, been preparing for his whole life to take the role. As heir, the Prince of Wales was put through years of training to ensure the survival of the British monarchy but he will have to wait for his turn to run the firm in Charles' 80th birthday. It when William is 47 years old. Britain needs a young, vital monarch for the 21st century. Charles is a country gentleman with an indecisive weak spine. Retiring would be the best for everyone. Charles wasn't strong enough to be king. He looks unwell and tired. It's a huge responsibility to take on your future rule. Could that be reason enough for Charles to pass down the throne rather than rule until his own death? For instance, after her succession, Queen Elizabeth embarked on a six-month tour of the Commonwealth. These kinds of trips around the world would be difficult to undertake in the best of circumstances. Add in the pandemic, it seems more dangerous than it's worth. But forget about convenience. How likely is this, anyway, that the man might give up his crown to his son early? Well. Not that out of the question, actually. Royal scholar Dr. Robert Morris of University College London told the New York Post in regards to the question of Charles giving the Koran to his son. I hope the king has inherited the extraordinary genes that took his grandmother beyond her century and his mother and father into the 90s. But I don't recall any of them looking as tired and spaced out as the king and queen did on the coronation, the expert said. As William performed his duties to perfection and his wife looked every inch a queen in waiting, I couldn't help but wonder how long it will be before the next coronation. Jenny Murray, the royal expert, suggested that King Charles and the Queen should decide in the not-too-distant future to pass the sword down to Prince William. Charles has delivered well-received speeches, connected with crowds on his walkabouts and seen his approval ratings shoot up dramatically since he became king. The newly crowned king during his first speech as the king, vowed to serve his people for life, saying, as the queen herself did with such unswerving devotion, I too now solemnly pledge myself, throughout the remaining time God grants me, to uphold the constitutional principles at the heart of our nation.